SharePoint News can be a powerful communication tool to help people in your organization stay informed, assuming that people visit the SharePoint site. A lot of people tell me that they forget to check SharePoint for updates, but they're in their email all day, every day. A SharePoint News Digest bridges that gap, so let's look at how to set one up and create a quick and easy newsletter. I have navigated to my sample SharePoint site where I post M365 News. On the right, there's a news column with the four most recent news items. To see all the news, click See All. This will take you to a news page where you can scroll through all the news posted on that site. In this case, we only have a few samples for this demonstration. If you have edit rights to the site, you will see the Email a News Digest option towards the top left side of the screen. When you click this option, a draft digest will be created in the background. You will see checkboxes next to each news item so that you can select which should be included in your news digest. In this example, I want to create a monthly newsletter, but you can create daily, weekly, quarterly, whatever makes sense for your business process. When you are done, go to the bottom right corner and click Next. Now we're on a page where you can customize the news digest. First, give it a title. Since I send out a monthly news, I will make sure that I indicate the current month in the title. On the to line, type the name of anyone you want to receive the news digest, and the email will be pulled from the global address list. I use an opt-in model, so I will only include the names of people who asked for this information. The next box down lets you put in an optional message. For example, I have a standard message that goes out every time and I also include links to the opt-in, opt-out forms. In the news section, you can scroll and double check your selections. It looks like I accidentally selected some news that was not from the current month, so I can click on remove. The other thing I like to do is look at the order of the news items. By default, they are in the order in which they were published. I know that there are some changes coming to Teams and Stream, and I want my coworkers to pay attention, so I will move those to the top. When you are done, click Send News Digest in the lower right-hand corner. You have now published the News Digest. Now I'm going to jump over to my Outlook to show you what it looks like for the people receiving the email. Notice that the email comes from my name since I was the one who created the digest. Within the email, you see the title, message, and articles that we expected to see. I have a tip to share. The first time I sent out a news digest, I wanted to click on the pretty pictures to get to the news. Don't do that. It just opens up an image file. You need to click on the title to go to the news item. Alternatively, you can go to the bottom of the email to see the Go to Site button. This will take the person right back to the original site where the news was originally posted. Okay, now you know how to create a SharePoint News Digest. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.